confronted pregnant sister-in-law, and told husband to choose between us. So, I-29F, have been married to my husband for eight years. About two months ago, I had my third miscarriage, 31 weeks. I won't be talking about it because it makes me feel so depressed, but you'll need to remember this. About four months ago, my sister-in-law, 20, came crying at our doorstep, telling us she's pregnant, and her boyfriend didn't want anything to do with the pregnancy and had nowhere to go. My husband and I openly took her in, welcomed her into our home with open arms. For the first few weeks, it was really hard for her, understandably. I sat with her for hours, holding her when she cried, binging our favorite TV shows, eating so much ice cream we quite literally fell into a coma. It was really bonding for us, so I thought. Here's where it starts going downhill. I take pride in my neat, clean home. My sister-in-law, on the other hand, did not. She would leave her clothes all around the house, leave her dirty dishes wherever, even went as far and leaving her S3X toys on our living room table. I tried to talk to her directly before I talked to my husband. She immediately started crying and told me should try to be cleaner. I hugged her, told her it was okay, but this is a clear boundary for me. She told me it wouldn't happen again, but it only got worse. She told me I was expected to do her laundry, dishes, and clean her room daily because she's the pregnant one. Well, I do understand how hard it is being pregnant. I just couldn't allow feeling like a maid in my own home. Disclaimer, I bought this house, not my husband. It was all me. Not to mention my recent loss of my child. So, I told my husband, but what he told me shocked me. His exact words were, Honey, she's going through a lot right now. We really should be helping her out. Plus, it might make you feel better to take care of someone who's pregnant. I was pissed, to say the least. Make me feel better? She's going through a lot? We need to help her? Letting her stay with us wasn't enough? While I don't want to invalidate her pain, my husband and I were also going through our own problems. Anyways, we moved on. I did my best to maintain work and the household chores. My husband works 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., so he isn't around to help much. I work full-time from home, so it's been super stressful. When I even try to ask for help, form my sister-in-law, she always makes an excuse. Even if she's just watching TV. The one thing that pushed me over the edge was I went out to buy my one food that I have actually enjoyed eating after my miscarriage. I wrote my name on it and directly asked my sister-in-law to not eat it. Well, I went to go to my fridge to get it. And you'll never guess. She freaking ate it. Now you may think, it's just food. I buy all the groceries, basically pay all the bills. I don't mind people having some of my food, but the one thing I ask to not be touched, gets touched. I told my husband, and of course he rubbed it into my face that she's pregnant, I need to be less selfish, and life is about sacrifices. I was so upset I told him I felt like him and her were the horrible roommates people talk about on Reddit. He didn't take that well lol. Which leads us to my title. My sister-in-law planned a random baby shower party thing at my house. I personally didn't know if I could even be home when this was happening. I felt so hurt that she wouldn't talk to me knowing everything that has happened and that she would just invite random strangers into another person's home before asking. My husband urged me to go, told him it would permanently affect mine and her relationship. So, I told him I'd go. About halfway through the party, my husband and Syl announced that they wanted to show the nursery to everyone. I was confused. Nursery? She was staying that long? What room did she turn into a nursery? They told everyone to head upstairs. That's when it hit me. They were talking about my nursery, for my baby I had just lost. A wave of emotions hit me when I saw everyone in my baby's nursery, telling her what a good job they did setting it up. My setup. For my baby, that my body failed to give me. I just lost it. I started sobbing. Then that sadness turned into pure rage. I started yelling at my sister-in-law telling her she's the foulest human for putting me through everything she has for the last few months, making me feel like I was a maid or an object for her convenience. Through choked up tears, I turned to my husband whose jaw was on the floor. I turned my head to see his entire family just staring at me. I lost it again. Yelling, I looked at my sister-in-law telling her, how dare she use my nursery for my baby? How dare she think she has the right? What she told me made me fall to my knees sobbing. It's not my fault you couldn't produce a child. Why let this go to waste? You're so selfish. My husband tried to pick me up off the floor, but I yelled again, standing to my knees, 
which were now shaking, I told him, pick, a dumbfound look on his face. I yelled again, pick, me or her. He couldn't even muster up anything to say. I just looked at him, pure buterol. I pushed past the crowd of family and ran straight up here to type this out. Even if no one sees this, at least it's helped me let these emotions out. Now's the point where I ask, am I the asshole? Update. First, I just want to address a few comments. You can skip this part if you don't care, lol. I know I had a stillborn. The only reason I say miscarriage is because that is what my obstetrician told me was happening. Second off, some people have been saying this story is fake because of the way I described the argument. Falling to my knees, pure betrayal. Yes, I figured out I spelt it wrong. I can ensure you it is not. I cannot make anyone believe me, but this is my life, so you can either think it's fake or not. I sat on my bed, wiping my tears and telling myself I will not take this disrespect. I walked downstairs, shutting my nursery door on the way. I was greeted with everyone comforting my sister-in-law. I kindly asked everyone besides my sister-in-law and husband to respectfully get the fuck out of my house. After all the dirty looks and shaming, it was just my husband, sister-in-law, and myself. They sat themselves on the couch, not saying anything. I sat with them. The silence felt like forever. None of us had anything to say. I knew I'd have to start the conversation. I looked at my husband and said, Did you decide? He looked at me, just staring. I asked again in a firm tone this time. He ended up mumbling some sort of insult, and I couldn't really make out what he said. Something with bitchy. I stood up and told them both to get out, then they wanted to talk, telling me this is all a misunderstanding, they're sorry, blah blah blah. I grabbed a backpack from my shoe closet and told them to pack their shit. My sister-in-law told me I couldn't just make her leave, and I was a horrible person. I laughed in her face and told her this is my house, and I can do whatever I wanted. My husband stood next to me and told her it was only for a little while. I turned to him and said, oh, you too, get out. He got all mad and told me we were a married couple, and that this isn't how marriage works. I told him, no it is not. Marriage is where two people support each other, and not treat their wife like shit. They both ended up leaving after many insults towards me. Oh, but wait, it's not over. This morning, as I was getting ready for a Zoom meeting with a few other co-workers, when my husband showed up, I let him in telling him to get whatever he needed and to go because I had to work. He started apologizing and telling me he wants to make it right. I told him I just need time away from him. Then he threw in my face. Well, it's not my fault you lost our children. Maybe this would have never happened. My sister was right. You are selfish. I have never ever made my husband feel like he cannot grief with me over this. Never made him feel less than because of his pain. I turned around and slapped him in the face. I never condone violence, and I'm very upset I would ever do that to another human. But I just couldn't deal with this. He took a step back and then threw all of my makeup on the floor, which I get. But then he started breaking all of my decor in my bathroom. I yelled at him to stop and that I was sorry, but he just kept going, even going as far as punching a hole in my bathroom wall. It was like I was seeing all of his bottled up emotions from our children's death come out. But he went too far when he tried to grab me, yelling in my face. I kicked him off and told him to get the fuck out. He walked out of the bathroom and I watched him break a few more items as he left. The second he left, I had a panic attack, looking at the mess he made, to even just seeing how much he hid his pain. I called my mother and told her everything that has been happening. I don't talk to my family much due to some past trauma with them. She told me she was on her way. The second she got here, I just broke down and she held me. Then she stood up and started taking pictures of everything he broke. I asked her what she was doing and she turned to me and said, we're suing this POS. I honestly didn't even argue. I was so hurt by everything my husband did to me. My mom packed up my computer and I grabbed a few outfits. My mom and I drove to a hotel and she insisted on staying with me. While I finished up work, my mom called a locksmith and my attorney. I will be divorcing him as well. So there it is. Here's the update everyone has been waiting for. I feel guilty for just giving up on my husband and eight years of our marriage, but it's time for a divorce. I can't live like this, and neither can my husband. I wish I could say we moved on, forgave each other, and I got to see my sister-in-law have her baby. But that's not reality. If anything else happens, I will let you all know. Thank you, guys, for the support and help with this situation.